Um, well, welcome to Toronto International Film Festival. And first of Thank all, you. I just have to ask you, I mean, how important, how exciting is it for you to have your film debut here? It's such an honour, really. Um, you know, when you make a film, you just hope that you can get into one of the significant film festivals because they're launching pads, especially for, you know, an Australian film where, which no one will, will, you know, know much about. So, so to have our film screen at Toronto is, is very exciting. Yes, and I, I have to tell you because I was just telling Alex this and I, I, you know, have interviewed so many Australian actors and directors over the years and when I was younger I worked in a video store and I have to tell you that all my favourite films were Australian pictures like Breaker Morant and like yeah. just, you know, those are the ones that I would always recommend and I said, what is in the water in Australia? What are you people drinking that you make such great movies? Fluoride. <laughs> um, I think that we do punch above our weight in terms of um, filmmaking. I mean, I mean, we don't make a lot of films, but um, we have a very, very heavily subsidised industry. Yeah. Um, and I think that there's a lot of care that goes into the scripts and there's a lot of thought about you know, how, how we're placed in the inter international market. And I think there's a, a tremendous amount of talent in Australia. I mean, uh, you know, you can see by how many Australian movie stars there are now who are kind of like dominating the world stage. Yeah. So, so I, I do think that um, we do pretty well for the size of our country. I mean, really, it's very similar to Canada. You know. Well, I was just saying that we have a kinship. Australian Absolutely. Canadians have a huge kinship. Yes, and and ironically, we've you know, like because I have a lot of Canadian friends who are producers and we're always talking about let's try to find something to do together, let's try to work, work, work together but we can never find a story. It's almost like we're the kind of siblings that don't really get on. <laughs> you know? There has to be something, we have to make it work. There, there has to be something, yeah, no, we keep, we keep talking, we keep trying. Think about how spectacular that would be. <laughs> it would be fun. Yeah, yeah, it would be fun, that's yeah. for sure. Um, how did you, you know, this story and I, oh my god, it was so intense that it is really truly amazing that I have nails and I, <laughs> I really, there was, I was on the edge of my seat. What was it about it for you that you just, you know, you wanted to tell this story? I guess, um, you know, I, I was really uh, intrigued by the idea of doing something that was like a, a film noir thriller, like it's a conventional three-act structure thriller, but uh, um, that just kind of unravels and becomes more and more complicated and more and more t intense and kind of about human emotion so, so it's kind of like a, a drama disguised as a thriller, and I, I you know, I, that was what really intrigued me about the script and what we were trying to do with the film. We were trying to make it tense for an audience, and and yet to do what thrillers normally don't do, which is to connect with your emotions, so that you kind of it is emotionally as intense as it is kinesthetically intense. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then, you know, from the very first shot, we see um, your one of your lead actors, uh, Sullivan Stapleton, walking along and these, you know, and, and you just know there's something up with this guy. Like, he doesn't say one word, right? But you just, he's holding that red bag and it, there's something up with this guy. Why did you choose him? Because, I mean, yes, he's perfect for it. But what was it about him that you thought, like, he is the man for this role? Su Sullivan has been a friend of mine for many years and I've always wanted to work with him from my very first film which he was unavailable for um, uh, up until you know like I, I saw him recently in you know the 300 in Animal Kingdom in Strike Back and he's just grown in stature as a as an actor and um, he has this um, incredible masculinity you know like he's an alpha male mm. and he's a big man and and that was the the what the qualities that we really wanted in the character of Pommy. Yeah. It was kind of, yeah, it, it was important for, for me to, for that that character to also have charm. And yes. Sullivan has charm in spades, but it's kind of like a, a dangerous charm. Well, I was yeah. going to ask you that because, you know, he's so intense on screen that we owe everything that we've seen him in. I mean, on uh, Animal Kingdom too. I, yeah. I love that movie. Um, what's, he like, what's he like in real life? Come on. <laughs> Um, he's, he's a puppy. <laughs> might, he might be a Rhodesian Ridgeback, but he's a puppy. <laughs> he's gorgeous. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous man. Uh, he's full of life and vitality and he has this great energy and a great sense of humour and we had a lot of fun. Yeah, and casting Alex, who's, you know, huge. He's going to be a huge star, I think. Yeah. I mean, you know, we see him in this and next we're going to see him in Unbroken. I mean, that's going to give him huge North American exposure. What was it like to work with someone like Alex? Well, Alex is a beautiful actor. He's, he's a very serious actor. He, he's, he cares so much about his craft. Um, 
and he was, he was very open, you know, like we just kept talking and talking about things and um, he has very high standards and it, yeah, it, it was, again, it was a really great experience, yeah. you know, the, the combination of all, all three actors. Cause yes, your then female we had lead. Oh. Jessica DeGale, wow. who's, I, I also think is going to be a big movie star. She's, she's stri strikingly beautiful, Gorgeous. but she has incredible access and, um, um, and great sort of a, a, a real connect between head and heart. And I think that for directors, that's all what you're always looking for. And uh, she, so, so she was just a pleasure to work with. I was wondering, did you keep the actors apart, um, you know, Alex and Sullivan, because of the animosity that grows there? And, and like, what was the process there? Or were they just pals off set? Or, you know, I just um, was wondering. No, there was nothing method about yeah. what we did. We just kind of, um, I think the, the, it was just really casting it right. Um, they, I mean, Alex and Jess are very close mm -hmm. anyway, so that they were form, formed a real kind of bond during, during the course of the film. And, and, uh, and I think that that kind of um, chemistry um, really shows on screen. They, they, you know, you really feel that he loves her and that she loves him. And and then um, uh, Sul Sullivan is you know like a creature of fire and passion you know and he brings that with that kind of intensity with him. Yeah, I could see he would probably be uncomfortable getting a lap dance by somebody in drag. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, so he wasn't I don't know, I don't know what to say. I don't he know what to say. He wasn't acting there. I can see he was uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to see from you next? Are you starting to work on something now? or? Um, my day job is as a TV showrunner. Yeah. So kind of that's what I'm doing at the moment. I've, I've, I'm executive producing about four different television shows. and um, Tell us tell us about your shows. Um, about I've done the second series of a kids show called Nowhere Boys, okay. which is uh, done very well in Australia and is uh, screening on the BBC at the moment. Great. And then um, I'm also um, executive producing a supernatural show for our national broadcaster uh, called Glitch, okay. which is um, about dead people coming back to life. I like those kinds yeah, of shows. Yeah, well, yeah. Like yeah, dead, dead is the new black. Yeah, it is. And, um, <laughs> it completely is. Hey, listen, I played a zombie extra, and I tell everybody it was yeah. it was the most fun of my yeah. life. I love well, it. Well, they, these aren't quite zombies, but but it's it's. <laughs> but they're dead of, coming back to life. That's the dead great. coming back to life, right. and uh, and then um, I'm, I'm you know I'm doing a comedy series about a very dysfunctional Chinese family. Oh, great. And so I do a whole range, range of things and, and thinking about the next movie. Good stuff. Well, congratulations on this one. You've done a really great job and it's intense as hell. So, <laughs> wow, have fun at the premiere and everything. Thank you very and, much. And uh, lovely to talk to you. Thank, Thank you, you very Tony. much. Thank